Hey guys, welcome back. This is Bernardo from the BTN HD, and yes, on the Mac side, finally Office has been upgraded to 2016. The last version was 2011, but uh, and Microsoft actually pushed out the preview to everyone to test out. And the package itself, the PKG file, is actually about three gigs in size, but the installation is about six gigs. It's a pretty huge installation. Now, one of the things that I noticed is off the bat on the old version, they used to create a folder called Microsoft Office and they used to drop all the apps in there. Now, uh, with the new installation to the new Office, they just drop everything inside your application folder as individual apps. Uh, so that's, that's new. Uh, they don't drop the shortcuts anymore to the dock. So that means you got to click on all of them and drag them and drop them to the dock if you want a shortcut to there. Uh, from my understanding, Office 2016, you don't need to have a Office 365 subscription to use, but you do need uh, a user account to use either Microsoft Outlook and OneNote. So off the back, when you open up Word, you're going to get this beautiful display. Now this display reminds me a little bit of 2010. It's a combination of 2010 as well as 2013 on the PC side. So I don't really think they made a lot of improvements on design wise. So let's create a new document and I'm going to show you guys. So when Word opens up, automatically the first thing that it reminds me is Office 2010. Word 2010 off the back. A little bit of Office 2013 because you're able to sign in, you know, use your live account to get into your OneDrive and share documents. One of the new things with 2016, they added a search in document feature at the title bar. Uh, you're also able to click on this little guy right here. It gives you sharing options on the spot. So that's pretty cool. You also have an email as an attachment copy a link and invite people so I think the only way these sharing options will work if you have um, office 2016 uh, logged in into your account your Microsoft or live live account the same thing goes to other the other applications uh, again if you need to sign in you can click on the sign in one and you click on the sign in button it allows you to sign in into your live account uh, if you log into your live account that's awesome because that means whatever you have in your OneDrive could be uh, push down or cash down into your machine. Now, like I said before, some programs you don't, uh, you can't use off the bat, like OneNote. When you launch OneNote, uh, it's going to ask you to either create an account or sign in so you can start using your notebooks that you have on your OneDrive. So let's uh, click on next here, click on next here, and let's get started. You automatically think it's going to launch up and you can use OneNote on the computer but uh, it's not going to allow you to use OneNote locally. It, it, it stops you here. You either have to sign in or create a new account. The same thing goes with Outlook. Outlook, when it launches, it doesn't give you an option to add a like a Gmail or a live account. You actually have to sign in um, into your Outlook to use maybe your Microsoft account or your Office 365 account. But uh, so far, I haven't been playing around too much. I just I noticed some of the a couple of things that the icons are uh, changed a lot. Uh, the interface reminds me a lot of a mixture between Office 2010 and Office 2013. It's basically uh, Microsoft just mushed all the design together and just add a little tweak such as the search bar and this little plus sign up here in the top, uh, and that's it. So. Uh, I want to know if you guys enjoy Office 2016 for the Mac side. Are you able going? Are you going to upgrade to Office 2016 when it comes out fully for the for the Apple side, or are you going to continue using iWorks? Leave your comments right below. Don't forget about hitting that like button because it does support the video as well as this guy. And I catch you guys on the next one. Peace out.